Hey, sunny day here in Half Moon Bay, California. I'm gonna date myself here for a second and let's tell you guys that I'm gonna give you the cribs look at the plunger warehouse. The plunger warehouse. So here's uh, our office over here. Got some custom light fixtures, cause why not? We're plumbers, right? And uh, got a little eclectic taste of art, some tacky fish. What else we got? We gotta have an American flag, right? Let's see, outside here, here's our shop. That's where we do a lot of business. Nice little uh, plunger neon sign over here and real work and plumbing shop let's keep going go down the stairs here we've got a nice little conference room that we set up because we want to feel important or something right and our sister company the rep brothers plumbing another cool uh, custom light fixture right Ooh, another plunger sign gotta love it i uh my family used to own a garbage company and they were all pickers before pickers was a term. And just about everything you see in here, Craig's, Craigslist, Craigslist, Craigslist. So I picked up the gene. Uh, there's no more dumps to pick through, but there's Craigslist. This is one of my homemade finds. This was a fan housing out of the inside of the Clift Hotel that we did a project at an old bowling alley that I got off Craigslist that I adapted to do something pretty cool. When we're in here and uh, working on some plans, taking calls, taking plunger calls, it's nice to have a little rising table. All that ergonomic stuff, right? Let's see what else we got outside here. This was our COVID project. Uh, everything was shut down. We had to keep some plumbers busy. And uh, what better way to do that than build a bocce ball court with some old doors out of some train cars. Train cars. Or we provide uh, some subsidized housing for some plumbers here in the Bay Area. Rent's outrageous. So gotta help those guys out. Next to the bocce court, nice fire pit with some more train car memorabilia. Kind of fun. Just down the way here. Got some cool shipping container offices. Where guys take plunger calls, throw, the, throw you guys up on the TV there, teach you how to fix a faucet. I'm a little patriotic myself and got a good uh, American flag hanging up out front. It's a little tattered right now. Just ordered a new one. Gets a little beat up on the coast, but. I get about six months out of them. And of course, some uh, some real work here, right? So we got this little demo table set up for when calls come in. People aren't quite comprehending and we need a like good uh, visual. So we can get in here and go, hey, this is the trap. This is the nut we need to tie. Got an inch and a, inch and a quarter uh, tailpiece here and some angle stops. We can even kind of give you a description about what's behind the wall. Cool stuff, huh? Got a uh, lavy on this side, shower over here. Uh, at our other San Francisco location, we got a tub and a toilet. You guys may have seen. Got a nice part selection down here that I run down and I'll grab something and say, hey, use one of these whips. Got a uh, plunger. You wouldn't know that uh, there's a technique to these things. You want to get a good suction on them and push them down. It's not just about just going to crazy. You want to be able to like push this down, get suction like on a suction cup on a window and keep continue pumping a lot longer than you think. 30 seconds or a minute, it's going to help you get that clog to your toilet or sink. Since I was doing a Cribs reference for all you millennials out there, got to show the fridge. Got my drink, some Coors Light, cock and bowl, 
<laughs> Leftover from my 40th birthday party. That was a mess. That's a wrap. So that wasn't to uh, boast about our space, even though it is a really cool space. It's uh, just to show you that we're real people, we're real plumbers, doing a real job. Uh, just trying to help you guys fix your stuff. Remember, calling a plumber, especially on a Saturday or Sunday, is going to cost you three to five hundred bucks just to get us out there. It's not always justified. Fixing a flapper in your toilet, um, getting you through an emergency until we can uh, dispatch somebody out there, or just fix it on your own. Uh, it's a minimum charge from us, forty-five bucks for up to fifteen minutes. You can text us. You can call us. We're here for you.